Godelo is a clone of Trello made with Godot engine using GDScript, powered by an Elixir and Phoenix framework real-time backend. It has all the features from Trello, such as dragging and dropping of cards, dragging and dropping of lists, support for multiple boards, which means multiple projects, multiple lists, and of course, multiple cards. It also has reactive data binding in Godot, for example, as soon as I change this card title, it should reflect everywhere instantly. As you can see, I added the title and it reflected here. I can add a new list. I can drag around. Godelo also has support for archived cards, just like Trello. Card description. Card to do items. And as you can see, everything reflects instantly in the background. So for example, I can write again the description here. Hit save. Now the card has an icon representing the description. I can unarchive now this card. It vanished from the archives list and appeared again into the list. What does it take to create something like this in Godot? Well, I'm using only control nodes, which are the Godot's UI nodes, interface nodes, right? So everything is contained inside container nodes. As you can see, the interface adjusts automatically to any screen size. The content is also expensive, so I can increase the size of this title. Let me rename it here. Let's span it across multiple lines. And now check as soon as I hit enter, the card in the backend, in the background, should expand. As you can see, the, the card size got adjusted. I can also maximize this. You can see the list size increase it. I can minimize. Scrolling also works both for cards and lists. Another feature is the possibility to add new members to collaborate into the same board. And this is also being added here to Godello. I can invite another member. And then those two members can collaborate in real time in this board. That is also account management with user login and sign up. And of course, the most important, important part after the dragging and dropping in the interface is that the data is all real time. As soon as you make changes to a card or to a list, it's reflected imme immediately to the server and to all users connected. There's no need to refresh or to, or to wait for a moment. Okay, but why am I creating something like this? It would be way easier if I just used a, a web framework such as Vue or React, especially React. Why use Godot, since Godot is a game engine? Well, that's the idea. The idea is, is to Godelo to be a Godot proof of concept for business applications, advanced UI inter interactions and advanced interfaces in Godot, complex data architectures and data modeling into Godot, a real-time online in the, and data flow in Godot, and connected multi-user collaborative interfaces and environments in Godot. But why I picked Godot? Well, Godot is such a cool engine, it's so lightweight and easy to learn, that I wanted to showcase this other possibility you know, in, in this other side in Godot. This is the first project like this in Godot, and I want it to be served as a framework and as a proof of concept for all those usages. Even if you don't make business applications with, with Godot, you can take all the lessons learned in this project and reuse it as in, to learn Godot and reuse it to, to make games. For example, all this drag and drop interface can be used to create a, a shop interface, can be used to create a trading card game, or they can just be used to, for you to learn how to implement uh, GUIs and interfaces in Godot.
And not only that, all the connectivity and real-time part can be used to add a new networking and uh, multiplayer features to any gaming or Godot application. Right now, you can go to github slash alfredbaldish slash godel and get access to the project, since this is an open source project. Let's talk about what's done and what is planned. So right now, everything related to the front end and to the interface is finished. So basically, all this interface you see here, the part of creating a board, creating lists, creating cards, dragging and dropping, renaming stuff. So all of this is already done. Even the, the scene flow between uh, the Godot scenes is implemented. So I can create a new board, for example, go here, so I can go back and forth. The data structure for this front end is also implemented using the repository design pattern. Everything relies on Godot signals. This was needed to make a reactive UI, reactive data flow. So for example, in the way I showed previously, let me edit the title and you can see it reflected here. There's no direct dependency between one element and another. It's all based on signals, which, are ba which is basically a, a, an event-driven programming pattern. So all this interface ready to use is available in the master branch right now. The other thing that's finished in the backend Elixir branch is the Elixir backend. If you don't know Elixir, Elixir is a modern language built on top of the, of the Erlang language, which is another language you probably never had heard of. But Erlang is basically a third years old, old language and it powers most of the world telecommunication systems. If you still have no idea what I'm talking about, Discord, for example, is built with Elixir. Elixir allows you to build high scalable and fault tolerant systems with a very, a very small amount of code. It has supervisors, it has self-healing features, which means if a, uh, a user crashes, it auto-reloads and heals the crash for the user. It has also what is called uh, small threads or lightweight threads, in, in, in Elixir terms that's called process, which is basically a way of making everything asynchronous and concurrent without all the trade-offs of threaded, multi-threaded languages such as Java or C Sharp with, where you have a uh, mutexes and uh, race conditions. And, and how you don't have um, race conditions in Elixir mutexes? Because Elixir is completely uh, immutable. And why did I choose Elixir? Well, because Elixir is my favorite language. It's what pay, pays my bills. I, own, I use Elixir since 2015. For, I use it for my startup. And I also use it in my day-to-day -day work. And because I just love it, it's, very, it's an amazing language especially when you use the Phoenix framework, which I also use it for this project. So right now, if you go to the backend Elixir branch, it's completely implemented. Even with tests, the real-time features and the integration of the backend into Godello is to a work in progress into the integrated Elixir branch. Right now, if you open Godello and close it, everything is going to disappear. Also, if I open it again, you can see Nothing is here because there is no backend integration. It's all saved right now in the data repository. What are the planned features for this real-time backend? Well, as soon as you add something here, it reflects immediately into the backend. Then if you make changes here, for example, if you add a new list or if you edit it, for example, it reflects instantly for you in another window if for, if for other members of this board. You will also be able to invite other real members that have an email in Godello. And as soon as the other member joins, joins the board and make a change, for example, if this member add a card, you're going to see the card here immediately without refreshes. Then let's say you add another card and you drag and drop, you're going to see the, uh, the reorder automatically in another window, for example, let's say you have a Godello running in another instance, or the other user is also gonna see the drag and drop automatically. 
Notice that the backend for this is already implemented. So the backend already supports even the drag and dropping, the, the ordering, and all these real-time operations. All done with Elixir and the Phoenix framework. Ah, and also another thing to consider is that I created the official bridge between Godot and Phoenix. So it's a library called Godot Phoenix Channels. I, I created it in 2019. And I also use this library inside Godello. The other things that I left for Godello after finishing the backend integration is the code refactoring. It's adding, it's adding optimistic UI updates. For example, as soon as you edit a title, you should see the interface react immediately without any delay. I'm also going to create a, cur a course called Creating Advanced Interfaces and Connected Bus Business Applications with Godot. This is going to be a unique course and a unique material for you to learn Godot, especially for the ones that don't want to make games, but instead want to make applications with Godot. But a course like that can be really time consuming. So I may also just release some process videos of how I built Godello. I may also create additional backend services and adapters for Godello. Let's say you don't want to run an Elixir backend because you have to run by, by yourself. Godello is not, gonna, it's not going to be hosted anywhere. It's not going to be a service. It's just, this, it's just this repository and then you have to run everything by yourself. So let's say you don't want to run Elixir nor Phoenix. So I also plan to add a Node.js backend, a Kotlin backend, and a PGP backend. But those additional backend options are going to be created only after, after the course is created. So that's it. If you want to, to support this project, you can also support me on Patreon. You can follow me on Twitter. You can subscribe to this channel. And of course, don't forget to start and watch this project to watch for changes. As, as soon as it's done, I'm gonna release a new video in this channel to talk about this project again and everything about it.